So yeah, so six and six, so thirteen thousand coming up here, and then the five thousand we made in the beginning, plus what we made off the Gels. All right, I sped this fight up. This is really boring and dumb and stupid. And you can see, you just run or dodge back and forth, shooting arrows, charging ETs or UTs when you can, and uh, try to take as little damage as possible. And I go through about 60 arrows doing this. It's just ridiculous. I mean, that's not that's not a fight. That's like stupid. That's what that is. All right, then you're gonna spawn those archers across the way, and then come back here. And then all you have to do is inch forward until you can pick them off one by one. There's gonna be a couple you can't pick off, but that's okay. Cause we'll do our technique. We just jump and um, take them out, shoot two arrows, and then EP them and make them be limb, and then they'll, they won't shoot at you unless you take off their leg, which I think I do later. Not a, not not any time soon, but a little later in the chapter, after the test of Fill on our arrows while we can. Free arrows are awesome. Go back down and save since we did that pretty well. And the next fights are should be easy, but of course I like to make it difficult. I mean, why not? That's what that's what's fun about the game, right? Making it difficult. It's not hard enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down this ladder here and drop down, and you're gonna get. Four mages. Now keep your bat or keep your camera away from the left side there. You can take on two, and sometimes they'll come at you. Just be ready for them like that. I don't really know why that guy didn't grab me. I guess they like don't grab you when you're in first person view, and I didn't mean to do that either. I was trying to take that guy out, and I didn't mean to do that either. So now we're fighting six IS ninjas plus a mage, which is not fun. And I have my bows with or my bows. My bow is equipped. So we're going to switch over to the Lunar Staff and hopefully try not to die. Even though we're down to a sliver of health. And I'm trying to do on landing, but I'm staying in the air longer because I'm using arrows and shuriken. But I'm too paranoid to try to change at this point because I just have so little health. And there's sometimes there's a delay when you go into the menu, so it's, it's just not worth it at this time. You can see all the moves I'm doing to get iframes. I probably would have died many times over had I not been able to do moves to give me iframes or been able to to, um, to dash right as the shurikens explode. Now that chest there, you want to wait to open until you have full health, otherwise you're not going to get the, the essence out of it. So we're going to do that. We're going to go get this chest here. This chest will have your essence no matter what, as long as you're full on items. So we're going to get that. And then we're going to go back and save, I believe. Yes, there we go. Switch to our dragon sword. We got some more archers coming up. These ones aren't too bad though. Alright. Forgetting where I'm going here, but that's not where we want to go. We want to go across the wire. So climb up on. Oh, get some arrows first. And then we're going to climb up on the wire and make our way across. Now as soon as you land over here, you're going to have an archer fall like right in front of you. So just be prepared. Don't, don't be startled by it. It's going to be there. There he is. And he almost grabbed me. That would have sucked. Now another one's going to come down as soon as you 
kill that one. I don't know where they're coming from. That'd be good to know. And then there's only two, so just jump down. Luckily, I got a blue essence, so I can do an on landing 360 UT. Take out one, delimb one, and then take out that one easily, and then happen to kill the other one as well. And then the last one, throw him into the wall, and OTM. And that's that. Six archers down in like 10 seconds. Alright, we're gonna save here and get our health back, and then we're gonna go get that other chest that we skipped until we had full health. I'm going to show you how to do that. Fail a couple times myself, but it is possible. I do get back up there. What you're going to do is you're going to run up on this wall and then do X and then Y. After you jump. Run up the wall, jump, and then jump at the top of your... At, like at the peak of your height and then X and then Y. And you should make it up there. There we go. And then you, the only way to get back up on the rope up here is to run up the wall and hope you grab onto it. Takes me a few tries, but sure enough, we get back up there. I'm gonna swing back over to the middle here and then drop down. I think I go all the way across. Yes, I do. Then take the ladder down. I believe, maybe I just jumped down, I don't know. Yeah, just jump down. You can jump off the rope and you know when you get over here, but I, I for some reason I had it in my head that there was another chest down here, and that's what I'm looking for. I thought there were three in this area, but there's only two. So don't don't mind me. I'm just being paranoid that I missed something. But we're gonna go go back and save, and then stop here for now and then when we come back I'll show off another costume just a different color and we will get some more essence which is nice because we can never have enough essence all right uh, there's nothing left so go go say come on Alrighty, there we go. Alright. Okay, now, this first chest we're going to open here can either contain, contain essence or bats, and we want it to contain essence, because the bats are annoying, so if it's bats, just let them kill you. Now jump down here. IS Ninjas are going to spawn, just run straight to this corner over here and open this chest. The chances of you doing this fight, no hurt, are slim to none, so um, make sure you open that chest and you have full health. Otherwise, you will not get the S. Just get the health. Now here, I accidentally used the info. I did not mean to do that, and I was very, very angry for doing that. This guy just doesn't want to die. Take it, drop, buddy. All right, now we're going to equip our lunar staff because we got four more Van Gels, and we're going to take care of these guys easily. We want to, we're going to absorb the essence I believe on these guys. Only four of them. Um, don't really need to worry too much. We actually, actually, we're just going to absorb it on two of them. We get a UT on this guy. We get 700 essence from him. Now this next fight coming up here is we're gonna get a golden Vangel and then a bunch of purple ones. The golden ones fly and shoot fireballs, but there's a really easy way to take them out. Equip the claws and do forward Y. That is, has a very, very, very high delim range. So you just forward Y, delim them, and then Y right after. And you'll see it takes them out really fast. Now 
after this cutscene, this guy's gonna jump at you. You need to dodge out of the way, or else you're gonna die. Especially if you haven't used the life for the thousand gods, or or you're not at full health or anything. Even if you even if you, you haven't, or even if you are at full health, if you haven't used the life of the thousand gods and he lands on you, it's a one hit kill. So do not let him hit you. Or why? He hit him? Why? Dead. Look how fast it was. And we're gonna use that essence to try to stagger our essence on our purple Vangels. However, uh, did a very good job, I think. Mean. Uh, I guess it's a little better than I thought it was. 